This is Getaway in Stockholm. Which is a series of popular first-person street racing videos. Filmed via modem. <laughs> I've never actually seen these before, have you? I've never heard of them before, so... I think I have actually heard of them. I think I have. I'm looking on the official YouTube page here, and it looks like it has 600,000 views. So. That's many views. I wonder if we're meant to understand that, like if we spoke um, Norwegian. We know. Is that what they speak Stockholm. in Stockholm? Well, Stockholm. Stockholm is oh, Sweden, isn't it? That's yeah. sweet. They speak oh, Swedish. That was, a, that was a fetus who was driving a car. Yep, via ultrasound. Yeah, that's that's cool. This is a lot of pre-credits like is this a street racing video or a the crappy online flash game this is extremely dangerous high speed pursuits and street racing may cause serious injury no, they're they're While calling the producers and the sponsors of this film this Never is yeah this is like uh you know those skateboarding videos that they used to sell in the 90s huh. the drivers in this I wonder if they still sell those with years of training i think this experience. is professionally made though Please do not try okay. i don't know if they yourself. permitted the streets smart, or whatever drive but. Safe, stay legal this is in English. The producers and sponsors of this film are in no way responsible for any injury or death. So was the text when that person film. was speaking Swedish. For further information True. about street racing and awesome cars, visit the ultimate street racing website, zatsi.com. All right. And we're off. <laughs> this is already feeling a little like the freeway face-off challenge that I grinded my face against. <laughs> Except I don't think you get to respawn in this one. This is pretty cool. I wish they had the speedometer in view. Because, like, it feels really fast, but I also wonder if, like, you know, being 70 miles an hour would feel really fast from the bumper camera. Exactly. You know? Being this close to the ground. Yeah, I don't think they're actually going that fast yet. Unless that other guy is a fellow racer. Oh, he is. Oh, okay. Because I was like, if that's just a car going 35 miles an hour, then I'm not impressed. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was. Maybe not. Okay, I'm a little impressed. But I'm not as impressed as, you know, if you were going 100 miles an hour. Down this thing. Well, what if you were going 100 kilometers per hour? That'd be even slower. That's probably what he's doing right now. That's true. Go under the car. Oh, okay, fine. Go around the car. That's right. I should assume that the vehicle this camera is attached to is actually taller than the height of this camera. Yeah. Though <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> if, they just, if this car just went underneath that well, Yeah, car or like remote-controlled micro-car getaway in Stockholm. <laughs> that would be really funny if the camera pulls back and this is just a little RC racer driving down the freeway. <laughs> With a jet engine attached to the back. <laughs> or, or you see, like, a person walking by at double speed because the entire thing has just been accelerated. <laughs> yeah, I with good no sound idea. design. See, now I'm assuming that car in front of us is also racing because he's going the same speed and pacing us. But maybe he's he not must either. Be. No, he must be. He's been passing other vehicles. Yeah, okay. This is not a very interesting course that they're driving. Yeah, that's true. It's not very technical, but maybe that would allow them to go faster. Maybe I mean, the a, challenge is in passing all the vehicles. Yes. Maybe it's like a loop or something, a, a relatively small, closed freeway loop. Or maybe I just can't tell the various tunnels apart. I don't know. Fascinating. So I hear you got a new computer. Yes, finally. Which means, among other things, that I can now like have the processing power to record LP or record games and stuff for us to Sweet. talk over. Welcome to the 21st century. Yeah, I'm the very excited. The motion picture Getaway in Stockholm 2 was filmed at dawn late August 2001, one year after Getaway in Stockholm with the Porsche 911 was done. We learned right. a great deal from the first film. For instance, 
We had to push the pedal to the metal a lot harder this time to get some really kick-ass and exciting high-speed pursuits with real cops. Well, what? I guarantee you, we've succeeded in both these missions. Wait, is this is this two that we're watching right here? Getaway in Stockholm two uh -huh. are Toyota Supra and a Ford Escort Cosworth. Each one of them tuned to about four hundred and fifty horsepower. The Supra and the Cosworth are frequent competitors. Oh, it must be Getaway in Stockholm in two. Stockholm. Is that what we're watching one. now? These extreme cars. We're watching two. Okay. The YouTube video is titled Part One. But it's part one of, of the various parts that make up Getaway in Stockholm number two. Got it. So maybe it will be cop chases or something. That would be exciting. That woman sounds so bored about the text she is reading. <laughs> like, it sounds like text to voice. So that we can see some really kick ass car chases. It really does sound like text to voice. That's what I thought it was for a second. Yeah. It's not quite stilted enough for that, but... It feels like we're going a little faster all Yeah, time. definitely. Yeah, the word getaway would imply some sort of police activity, so... You'd think. They're behind the slow car. I would have gotten pissed at that car, and I'm not a street racer. That car was going slow. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we finally played a couple... We had the long weekend recently, um, or I had a long weekend recently. Um, we played some games that everyone else played, you know, six months to a year ago, like Diablo 3 and Bastion. Oh, fun. Yeah, yeah two great ones. I have been I have been hearing so much about Bastion that I was really really eager to get it. So, have you played it? Oh yeah, yeah. Those guys are actually uh, they used to work at EA Los Angeles with me. Oh, so, uh, cool. Really, I'm super proud of those guys. That game is awesome. Um, Do you yeah. still stay in touch? I don't know, I don't know. No, not really. Do oh. you know what they're up to or anything? No, no. They just released an iPad version. Oh, actually. that's fascinating. Well, that's what they're working on most recently, and it's actually one of my favorite games on the iPad. The controls really adapted nicely to the oh. iPad version of that game. Interesting. I would not yeah. have expected them to. I didn't either. And it actually, it's a totally different game because different weapons are good on the control scheme in the iPad. Okay, as, that as makes sense. So it's pretty interesting. Um. And Diablo 3, are you in the, it was a huge letdown camp, or the, uh, it was an awesome game camp? It's, it's every bit as fun as Diablo 2 was, um, which I, so I think it's still great. It isn't, I mean, it's disappointing in that it's really at its core the same game. They didn't, it, it, they didn't change anything that, that feels exciting and new. The good news is they didn't screw anything up. Yeah. There are no ways mm. in which I'm playing. I'm like, oh, all right, this was so much easier or more fun as D2. Um, and it's smooth and it's pretty. And yep. my primary attack is throwing spiders at people. And that is just <laughs> by default kind of awesome. Um, and it's fun. It I get I got exactly what I expected out of it. It's not... It's not brilliant the way D2 was in comparison to Diablo 1. Like, that was a leap forward. This is not. I'm glad they made it. I really oh, enjoyed yeah. playing it. I've actually still been playing it. So I, I think it's really plan good. to play a lot more. I'm barely... Um, I was spending a lot of my time on Bastion while my wife was playing Diablo. So I'm barely like a third of the way in back one. Oh, boy. Well, you have uh, quite a journey ahead of you. You have to tell me what you think of the story. Tell you what, sorry? What you think of the campaign once you finish it. Yeah, I will. And hey. thus concludes Getaway in Stockholm. Indeed. Let's jump into uh, Driver San Francisco's take on it. Okay.